Hey everybody, I am so excited for today. Woo! It is almost fall. So what does that mean? That means Ulta. Fall. Hall. Time. Oh my gosh. I spent some money. Not super excited about it. But totally not disappointed. So I went to Ulta. Um, to just go and get their fall palette and left with quite a few things that I want to share with you and I'm excited. Also, <laughs> drum roll, because I've spent so much money at Ulta, I now got a free and exclusive pack that has like literally so many goodies in it. I don't even know what's in here. I think just stuff. Tons and tons of stuff. But that's going to be a different video, so watch that one because it has samples and I'm going to talk about them. And I feel like they're my. Might be a giveaway. Um, I am going to show you the things that I got. I didn't go super overboard like last time because I ended up splurging on some Clinique moisturizer for wrinkles. Yes, I am doing it. I am going after these wrinkles. But I am telling them they cannot last any longer. Or they can't get any bigger. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter. Today I'm rocking some earrings from our boutique on Etsy. Totally not self-promoting. I don't know. They're just so cute and like every pair we make is unique and special and we make custom orders and I do it with my daughter, so it is a very special thing. It's not just something that I just do, like, you know, it's very affordable. It's just, it's for fun, it's for joy. So when you're buying a piece, you're buying a piece of our joy. Let's just get this haul started. First thing I got is the Morphe 35F. This is what I went originally for. <laughs> but I completely got derailed as usual when I go into Ulta and now now they put a Target now they put a now they put Ulta in Target like what are you doing with it? I can leave Target without spending money and now you're taking the two places that I love and you've merged them together as one which has created for me a huge situation so I haven't fallen into the pit yet but I'm not sure I got this 35F Fall Into Fall Fabulous Palette. Now this is um, Fab Shades for your inner fashionista is what it says. And it says, fall in love again with this fab warm tone palette bursting with 20 fine sheens and shimmers plus 10 matte transition shades to create endless, endless, to create endless and timeless looks. I am wearing a look, so yeah. I already did do for this one. I'm sorry, guys. This, this is me unboxing it for you. And, I, you know, as you can see, the yellow bag is next to me. But truly, truly, I tell you, I already have used this one. So this palette, you're going to see my fingerprints on it. I like it a lot. It has a lot of sheer and sheen shimmer tones. And I, it only has 10 matte colors. So I bought a second palette, which I'm going to show you today. And I consider it the sister palette to you. So if you're looking for fall colors and you're like wanting to get into makeup, these are neutral, but they're also like, you can really elevate them. So it's like you can make them look crazy or you can make them just look like an everyday neutral wear. So let me just open this for you. Just kind of give you the look. Now, of course, it's super, um, they're Quite a bit darker than on here but these are all shimmers and then the pop the mats are on the side but yeah and just really pretty colors you know just really really um very fall colors they are not as bright as they look probably two shades darker i'll try to kind of change that in editing for you but yeah you have greens or purples you have browns and golds and even like the neutral that i like to put up on my eyebrow and i really I've already used it, so I can give it a review of five stars. I don't have any fallout when I use Morphe. 
if other people do, you know, you can comment below on your thoughts of Morphe, but I really enjoy it. I think it's super fun. I think that it's super affordable at like $26 for a palette. Um, but you can't beat that, especially for something like my palettes last me years. It's probably expired, but it's not even a thing. I think it's like a conspiracy to just get us to make, like buy more makeup. Okay, the second thing I got was, um, I am really, you know, I'm on this foundation journey. I am trying the Laura Mercier powder, part two of the powder. I don't know if it'll be out before this video or if it hasn't come out yet. But right now I'm using the very shimmery powder, which I am in love with. I love it. I love it. It makes me feel like a unicorn. But I have the matte powder and that one just feels a bit thicker. Um, and you'll see that in the video. So I'm not sure if it's just the foundations that I'm using because I just use e.l.f. Um, so I decided to venture and try two different kinds of foundation. The first one I got, I already opened it and used it once. So I can give you a review is the Morphe SPF Broad Spectrum Glow Stunner. It's a tinted moisturizer. So this isn't a foundation, but it is a very, I would call it a light coverage, but it's buildable. So you can almost get a slight medium coverage out of this. So if you don't have like hyperpigmentation or, you know, a lot of things you have to cover up. I, I did two coats of this on my face. <laughs> I feel like I'm painting. And, um, and it looked actually really good with the matte. It wasn't thick. It didn't, it, it held up throughout the day. It did give me that glow that I want. So like, even though I was wearing the matte, I like still felt like I had a healthy glow. And I got the lightest color, I think. Maybe not. No, I got level three. So I got light glow. So if you're white like me, light glow is the way to go. It's more of a neutral undertone. I don't like pink undertones. They make me look peachy. The second thing I got is the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation, and that is like what I'm wearing today. And again, I mean, I can see my lines a bit. Um, I don't know. I just really did my makeup, honestly. I just did a video for the fall look video with the uh, TikTok fail. If you haven't seen it, just wait. Um, so we'll see how this one wears, but I like it. I like the way it went on. I'm just, you know, about the wrinkles. Where are you, are you sitting in my wrinkles? I want you to sit on top of that. I want you to fill them in. So this is supposed to filter back my face. So I don't know if it does in this video, but you know, we'll see. Um, I think this one was 20 and I think that this one was 18. If I'm not. I can't review this one yet, but I, I would give this definitely like three and a half stars for sure. Like it's something that I'll use daily and it has an SPF of 30 in it. This one has no SPF. If you are into Clinique, go spend $45 because they will give you this set of amazing stuff. This actually, this moisture charge right here, I really, really like this. I give this a five star. It doesn't do anything for wrinkles, but it does hydrate. And then it came with like a lip balm and some face spray, which I should probably use an overnight mask. I'm slapping that thing on my face. And I don't know something else, but it says moisture surge essentially for plump, dewy, glowy skin. Who's a, who's a plump and dewy, glowy girl? This girl. I'm a diamond member. Don't even look that up because you will find out how much I spent this year on Ulta and makeup because it's all for you guys. I'm trying out all this makeup. I try to always think about it for you guys because I love you and I want you to know that you can do fun things and I also want you to know what is reasonable and what is worth it and maybe what is expensive and what is worth it. Sometimes not everything should be free. Uh, loving this lipstick because I can drink my water. Um, does it make up inspire? Yes. I can drink my water. Um, look at that. Just a hint. I'm wearing red. Just, I mean, I don't even know. Oh no. That was from something else. I wore lip gloss yesterday. This is I know I'm disgusting. Listen, you're doing it all my secret. Well, I have two more things. So, I am really. I had went in one of my last videos and said that I used the Elf brow cream. I actually don't, and I'm sorry. I actually use the Morphe brown cream, 
I used it in biscotti, which was right. I just thought it was e.l.f. I probably even showed it. But this is the Morphe. And so I actually got a new, new brow cream because my hair keeps getting lighter and I don't want super dark eyebrows unless the look that I'm actually doing and creating calls for a dark eyebrow. So I bought the second brow cream. Uh, Eventually. I bought the same brow cream, but I bought it in praline. So it's just a color down and that's what's on my eyebrows right now. I'm really excited for a video coming up about a new eyebrow product I'm trying out. Um, I'm just working with the company right now on finding what's right for me because I want to give it like a fair and proper review. With that said, let's move on. So this is the sister palette. This is not the company saying this. This is just me saying this. To fall into fall. So I feel like if you can splurge, get these two together, okay? 35D and the 35F. You know why? Because they complement each other. This has, let me just read it. Retreat to a desert garden getaway in Camp Arizona. With its versatile palette full of earth tone, vibrant desert flowers, bright and green succulent hues. With creamy matte and sparkling shimmer finishes, your blooming desert looks are just a swipe away. This has a lot more matte in it, whereas this has a lot more shimmer, I think. <laughs> Based on my research. So let's open it, because I have not opened this one. But let's open it up. I just really felt like it complemented. This is a beautiful palette. I love purple tones, I love green tones, and every tone in between. So let's open it, I'm very excited. First of all, let me just tell you, there's some glitteries in here, like glitteries. There are mattes. There are some bright colors that you would like, excuse me, that is not a fall color. That is a winter, I mean, that is a summer color. Well, guess what? Wrong. I have no names. Oh, the names are on there. Finally, thank you. Oh my gosh. So this is what I love about this palette. This palette mixes earth tones with pinks and roses and like flower colors because I'm a little wildflower. So look at how beautiful this palette is. This palette has everything. You have your white neutrals into these beautiful hue greens. You have all of these neutral browns throughout with shimmers in them. You have some yellow tones, you have more browns, you have pinks and purples that like you have these beautiful plum color. I don't know if you can tell if that's plum or not. Um, I don't know. That's a black. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. And then you have these like, you know, earthy, earthy tones. And then you have this beautiful mixed marble. This is like a marble color right there. I'm trying to get it in the camera. Um, oh, and then don't even get me started. You have this green glitter over here that is going to be my everything and this glitter, and then you have this silver glitter. So I am telling you what, this is a very versatile palette. I am just, I am looking at it, I'm just like, yeah, like, when do I get to use you? Like, sorry guys, like, I'm not today. Like, when do I get to use you? This is so bright, I can't even tell you, but this is gonna be so fun. Like, can you imagine mixing this and like this green together and how pretty that will be? Oh, it's coming. So this is what I mean when I say that I feel like these really complement each other. Let me show you. If you want two palettes that will complement each other and you've worked interchangeably, I definitely would say, look at look at how these would look at how these just I just look. Just look at how these go together. Like all together, these are like one of the best palettes you could ever get. Am I doing it right? I don't know. But I mean let me back it up. Right here, if you could get these two palettes, and listen, I did not get sponsored by Morphe, I'm just giving you my honest opinion. You have the ability to create so many different looks and you can go from comfort zone all the way out to, you know, I am feeling super uncomfortable, but this is so much fun look. And each palette was $26. So that's $52.
for two palettes that these will last two years. Like, that is it for my haul. This one wasn't a super big haul, but it was more about the palettes because I'm very, very excited about them. I am very excited to try out the foundation, um, jump into that Laura Mercier powder and see how it works with the matte and see how everything is working together. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Please click subscribe, click the button, send love to all your friends by sending this. And I hope that it made you smile. I hope it inspired you. I hope maybe it informed you a little bit. Uh, have a wonderful day and I hope to see you soon. Bye everybody.